Welcome back to the NASCAR FedEx Cup Series. Today, we will be seeing which drivers will make it in to the regular season of the 2020 FedEx Cup Series season. 14 cars will be rolling off the grid today to decide who makes it. It's Eric Jones and Jimmy Johnson on row one, Tyler Reddick and Christopher Bell row two, Chris Buescher, Bubba Wallace, row three, row four belongs to Stenhouse and Newman, row five, Matt Kenseth, John Hunter Nemechek, row six, Ryan Priest, Corey LaJoy, and row seven, Ty Dillon and Ross Chastain. To make it into the regular season, you must win one of the three stages. Each stage is three laps. As the cars roll off pit road, we get ready to go green. Today's pace car is the 2019 Chevrolet Corvette ZR1. He pulls off and we're finally ready to go green. The green flag is in the air over the first race of the 2020 FedEx Cup Series season. Johnson and Bell away with a great push on that outside. Johnson drops down, gets a push from Eric Jones. Looks like he's going to come off four and get ready to lead lap one. No, he's around. Off the bumper of Eric Jones, Jimmy Johnson on the first lap spins around. Let's take a look at what happened here. Just a big push from Reddick to Jones. Jones just hits him not square on the bumper. That'll turn the 48 sideways. He got up in the air. I don't see a lot of damage to that car, though. They may be fine to continue on as, yeah, he's rolling off pit road now. We're ready to take the green coming off of turn four. As the pace car pulls off, it's going to be interesting to see how Johnson can work his way back up through this field. As the green flag is out, Eric Jones leads them into turns one and two. And you can see Chastain and Johnson jumping to that high side already as Reddick tries to go to the middle. It doesn't work because Jones is getting a huge push from Bubba Wallace. We got one lap to go in the first stage. Who's going to win it? Bubba Wallace giving Eric Jones a huge push, trying to make this a two-horse race. And they're gapping the field like a tandem draft right now. Through the final corners, when you're Bubba Wallace, when do you make your move? He shoots to the outside. Contact. Wallace he gets the win. Edges out Jones by just an inch. Let's take a look at that replay. Great move. There he goes to the outside on the side draft. He's able to just get a little bit of momentum. That's enough to carry him to the win in this first stage. He'll advance into the regular season. Stage two is underway, yet another three-lap stage. Eric Jones once again leads them to the green. He looks to have a very strong car today. I would not get worried that he didn't win stage one if you're a Jones fan. You can see Johnson poking to the middle. We talked about him working his way back up front. You can see him. They're still side-by-side -side off turn four. Eric Jones leads that lap by a nose. Johnson to the outside. Reddick pulls up to block. They're four wide for second. Looks like Johnson makes that work around the high side. He's got a big push from Reddick now. Good block by Jones there. Jimmy Johnson pushing Jones. Coming up to one lap to go in this second stage here. Time is running out. Johnson to the outside. He's going to put Jones in the middle, but Johnson doesn't have help. Here comes Christopher Bell and Ryan Newman on the bottom. A huge push from Newman down the back stretch. Johnson's still looking to the outside, just doesn't have the help that he's looking for. It's going to come down to Ryan Newman and Christopher Bell. Newman looks high, looks low. Not going to work. Christopher Bell wins stage two. These drivers really only have one good shot left. This is stage three, the final one. Pace car is off. Jimmy Johnson and Ryan Newman lead them to the green. Newman away with a decent jump. Neither driver has that much help right now as they're still side by side coming off of turn four, or turn two, excuse me, as Johnson gets a huge push from Eric Jones. That's going to propel him to the lead. Jones still staying locked to that bumper here. A good push. Here comes Kenseth looking to the outside. Jones in the wall, upside down is the 42 and the 20. A huge crash here. Eric Jones, the most dominant car of the day, goes up and over along with Matt Kenseth, who also had a good car. Wow, you could see when the air got under that 20 car, when Newman hit him, he just took off like an airplane. And as for Kenseth, he looked like he had a more slow rollover off the bumper of Busher. But wow, a violent crash here. And that's going to leave us with one lap to go in the final stage to decide who wins it. Here we go then. I don't think it's any surprise that Jimmy Johnson's leading them with how good he's been at these restrictor plate races. 
He's gonna get a good push from Reddick. He's gonna get out front. The, other, the rest of the field not looking like they're gonna be able to get a run here. Every car just side by side and spaced out really. And it looks like the seven time champ is gonna get the win in the final stage in advance with Christopher Bell and Bubba Wallace to the regular season. There's your three right there. A fantastic race for the FedEx Cup Series today. Those three drivers, I'm sure they're happy. Unfortunately, no burnouts because they need to save those cars for the race in two weeks. Make sure you tune in for that. Also, signups will be available later today. So make sure you stay tuned for that sign-up video. The three drivers that have won today will join the other 16 drivers that made the playoffs this year in a championship hunt for the Cup at the end of the season. Thanks for watching and look out for the sign-up video later today and tune in in two weeks for the second race.